Hey guys, it's me, My Reborn, and I am back with another video. Today is Saturday, October 28th, and it's currently 1.45 p.m., and I have Solana here for today's video. It feels like I just changed her, probably because I did, even though it was a few weeks ago, but that's okay because we're going to change her out of this because I didn't like how this looked anyways because of the shorts and then I didn't find anything to put under it so the cloth doesn't show so I'm actually happy that I'm changing her as what I consider really early even though it's been probably like two three weeks now so we all know Halloween is coming up October went by so fast like it came and it went like this was the fastest month that I can say that actually like came and it left super quick but halloween is the 31st and it is on a tuesday so it's in approximately three days and i'm going to change solana into her halloween costume i wanted to get all the babies something halloween related and i actually do have i actually do have a few halloween items already am i going to look for them i am not so the other babies are not going to get dressed, but there's always time next year. I'm going to show you guys Solana's Halloween costume, get her changed, and I'm going to do this video fairly quick because I have an hour before I have to leave for work. So, we're going to go ahead and get her changed. I want to make sure she's in the frame. Oh, you guys see her bonnet? <laughs> do you guys like it? She has this red bonnet <laughs> all right also i found my little camera right now it was under the bed and my tripod broke so there's many reasons why i haven't been making videos i've been i haven't been feeling the best not with a cold or anything but but yeah my tripod broke i have more than one tripod but the one that i really like is the one that broke and i don't even know how that happened but that's okay i guess so i let solana kind of pick out her halloween costume this year and she is more undecisive than me she wanted to be a princess then she wanted to be a fairy then she wanted to be one of her favorite characters peppa pig and she was like well actually i want to be tiana or then she was like i want to be an animal and i'm like please pick one <laughs> so this is what she ended up deciding on a panda she wanted to be a panda for halloween this year so i was like okay that's cute oh no my battery's dying what the heck i haven't even used this camera in like a few weeks but she's gonna be a panda and then it has these cute little things for the hand and uh, this was supposed to actually arrive today but it arrived on thursday and i think i got it monday I think I bought it on Monday, so it came super, super fast. Anyways, let me switch out the battery and then get her changed. Okay, so I don't know where my extra batteries are, so we're using the big DSLR camera. And all of my batteries are gone, and then the ones that I do have are all dying. So we're going to have to quickly get her changed into her Halloween costume. I'm debating on if I should put, like... A long sleeve shirt underneath or some leggings it's not gonna be cold here though so i probably i don't think i am so anyways i do have a quick topic for you all today and that is do you guys get your babies dressed up in holiday clothing so holiday clothing being like um for valentine's day st patrick's day you know thanksgiving halloween christmas that type of stuff so i just wanted to know if you guys dress your babies up and this camera's dying too i don't even think i'm gonna be able to do this video right now guys i might have to do it when i get back from work so let me take these off and then i guess i'll just do it when i get back from work because the battery would be charged by then so yeah but at least her pants are off right now so yeah i'll talk to you guys in like i don't know six hours maybe maybe it'll be less than that so ttyl all right guys i am back you can't even tell it's been like a really long time since i last talked to you guys i think i talked to you guys around like 140 something 
but yeah i am back a few hours later i didn't have to stay for too long so the first thing i did was got out of my clothes and into something comfy and decided to go ahead and change her now before it gets too much later but it doesn't it doesn't look that um dark in here which is a good thing so let me and i think that is a little bit better again i am using my dslr camera because my little one is like the i can't i have two or three batteries for it the battery that i have in it now it's dead it has no bars and then the backup ones that i have i don't know where it's at and then on top of that i have like two chargers for it and i don't know where they're at either so i guess it's a good thing that i had to leave for a little bit because i got a chance to charge this battery and it's nice and charged now so i can go ahead and change her so i left off taking her pants off or her shirt oh my gosh or her shorts i should say um i ended up taking them off her and now i'm going to take off her shirt i already showed you guys her costume and then i did have a topic for today which i didn't even get a chance to say anything about it i talked briefly about it but i didn't even get a chance to like state what i had to so my question was do you buy your baby's holiday outfits and i said that i did do this topic before already i'm gonna block the ring light for a second because i'm gonna take off her shirt so don't mind that but I did talk about this topic probably like two or three times already but i just wanted to bring it back since i am dressing her for halloween and before i did dress the babies like almost every single holiday but then as my collection got bigger it's been like i can't dress everybody <laughs> i can only dress a select few except for when it's christmas time i try to dress all the babies up for christmas however the last christmas i didn't really get a chance to do is like what i wanted but that's okay so as my collection has gotten a little bit bigger it's been hard for me to actually dress them for every single holiday but before when i first started off started out and when i had like a smaller collection i did dress my babies up for the holidays because it's it's really fun and i you guys sh if you don't know you should know but i don't buy any of these items at full price and i don't buy them like out of the store most of the time i don't especially not for holiday stuff because you can get like a bundle and a bundle is like multiple outfits or onesies for like twenty dollars and that is like the best way to go for me like I wanted that's I wanted to go ahead and get the babies a bundle of Halloween onesies and outfits but then the time just kept going by so fast and that's one thing one of the reasons why sometimes I don't get a chance to dress the babies because the time just goes by so fast that like I don't even know that it's come it's approaching because by the time I'm like okay let me order this it's like well this is not even going to be here in enough time so the only time I so the only thing I can do is like go into the stores or something and I don't have time for that either and I really don't feel like paying full price so I'm like okay whatever but luckily I got this last minute guys again I got it on like I bought it Monday and it's supposed to arrive today and it actually arrived on Thursday so I got really really lucky with that but I got her this outfit last minute too so I just need to start planning it a little bit better. I think the only thing I don't really... Let me take her bonnet off. That's why she had it on because look at her hair. I'm going to do her hair in such a cute style. I'm debating if I want to record it or not because it's going to take me a while so I probably won't. But i probably take some pictures of her. Right? That would be cute. And I'm undecided on shoes. So if we have enough time and the video is not too long, then we can pick out some shoes together. But yeah, I think the biggest thing is time for me because I feel like it comes by so fast. I'm like, I know I have to find a Halloween outfit for the babies and then I just always forget or I'm like, well, I have time and then I actually don't. But yeah, I think Thanksgiving and maybe Valentine's Day are like the holidays and like St. Patrick's Day are like the holidays that I really don't dress my babies up in. But I feel like Christmas is definitely a yes as well as halloween 
but this year i was like i have to at least dress one baby and i already knew that one baby would be solana just because she's bigger so like the costumes are actually costumes and they're a lot more fun because she can actually wear them and fit them and i got this in a size 2t but yeah it's like this little i think it was called pretty pretty panda costume but yeah guys i got this second hand and i got it for only six bucks so can't go wrong with that i'm just trying to fix her dress off camera sorry guys okay see i was telling you guys i don't know if i should put like some pants or something underneath because i didn't know how long the dress would be but i don't have to um you can see her cloth a little bit but it co it's like it covers it right at the end so that's really really cute and then she has on the little hood oh that's cute so she's a little panda for halloween and i'll show you guys the bottle as i look at the bottle and we need to pick out some shoes for her but that's her Halloween costume. She decided she wanted to go as a panda. Oops, sorry guys. I don't know what she's gonna go as next year, but I think I think it's gonna be something a lot, a lot. Um, I think it's gonna be something very, very different. Probably, she won't probably be an animal, but she wanted to be a panda, a pretty panda. So I was like, okay, well you can be a panda then. But maybe next year she might want to be a princess or something like that. But this is like kind of princessy with the dress and it has sparkles and glitter. Pink sparkles. Like that's so cute. Super cute. And she's probably not going to want me to do her hair. Especially not right now. But I really don't have time to do it any other day because Halloween's on Tuesday. You guys know trick-or-treating depends on where you're at it's pretty much different days or sometimes if you're 10 minutes away from a town one can be today the next can be tomorrow monday can be your town so let me show you guys the shoes that i think i'm going to put on her so give me one second okay i think i have four options here or maybe okay so I got the shoes and I'm pretty sure there's there's two of them that have the matching pair but I have to find it because it probably fell somewhere and so I'm already looking at some of these like no let me put you guys down and also I just saw and remembered she has these little mittens that I forgot to put on her and guys these are I know they're black but they're furry and they're not gonna stain her at all that's uh, called the rub test for everyone that's new people really don't do it anymore I don't think so but you just take a dark clothing item black or blue and then you you, I use the wall, but you can use like just a white surface, and then you just go like this. And if it rubs on the wall, then it'll rub on your baby. And if it doesn't rub on the wall, then it won't rub on your baby most of the time. But just because it doesn't rub on the white clean surface does not mean it won't rub on your baby. So don't look at me if <laughs> you did the rub test and you put it on your baby and it still stained them. Just be careful and this is backwards it's like this they have like the little holes for the thumbs sorry guys I keep forgetting you guys can't really see okay but yeah I thought this was such a cute costume and I think she looks super pretty as a panda I'm looking at some of these shoes and I'm like, no, they're definitely, we're definitely not going to have her wear those. Are these? No. Oh. Okay. I'm always struggling with something, right? Oh, look. <laughs> I 
That is so cute, right guys? Okay, so I have our jelly sandals here. These are no. I have these. They should fit her. I just don't really like the soft bottom. It's not the super, super soft ones, which is good. But these are just like some cute little black boots. Or we have like, I don't know. I feel like these don't really match. These brown cow, cowboy boots. And these definitely don't match, so. Or I have like these little sneakers. So I am, these two or no. Those are no for me, but I'm thinking one of these, right? So we have a black boot and it's furry on the inside. And then we have just a white sneaker with red. Cause I think they both match. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking this is a no. So what I'll do is I'll put one on and then let me see. So I'm just gonna quickly put them on and I'm gonna have to find socks if I do one of these. So this is, of course they're both, this is the right, they're both the right foot that I chose. Okay. By the way, I got these from Amazon. They were like $10. 10 to 12 dollars and then i got these off macari my favorite favorite app to get my used clothes for the babies and accessories at a very affordable price what is this salt and pepper do anyone want any salt and pepper okay let me stop playing <laughs> oh and then you guys know her unicorn is never far away from her all right let's try these Reeboks, they're so cute. These have only been worn on one baby and only one time. Actually, two babies because they were worn on my first ever Reebok toddler. Then um, they were, I put them on Margo to take pictures when I had changed his outfit. But baby sneakers are like my absolute favorite. That's my most favorite thing that I like to collect for the babies. Definitely baby sneakers. Probably the most money I'll spend on something for them as well. Okay. These barely fit and they're a size 3C. Her toes like right at the tip. Okay. Guys, let me know in the comments which shoes you guys think will look nice with her panda costume. And let me say this again, it's not going to be cold here. And the coldest is probably like 80 degrees. But like right, yeah, right now it's 79. And yeah. So let me know which shoes you guys think look best. The boot or the Reebok. I mean, I guess I can try these but i feel like i'm not going to like them but we can try them because it's, the video's not too too long but i am going to end right after i try this one on her putting shoes on the reborn especially the toddlers are just as hard as real kids <laughs> like why is it so hard to put a shoe on okay oh wait they don't look too bad and these are like tight on her too, like right at her foot. So she's definitely going to need some new shoes. So this just gives me an excuse to buy her some new shoes. Oh, she does have her Ugg slides. But I don't think that's going to look right because they are pink. And she already has like five different pinks. <laughs> Even though this is the full complete costume. So yeah, anyways, this is me changing solana into her halloween costume if you guys are going trick-or-treating let me know what you guys are going as you and your baby if you decide to dress up let me know where you're dressing up as and if your babies are dressing up let me know what they're dressing up as i am not going to be dressing up 
for Halloween, but you guys know Solana did, and she is a pretty panda. So she's a little baby panda. And and don't forget to let me know in the comments which shoes you guys think she should wear. So that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys want to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, you guys can do so. My Instagram is Maya underscore reborn. And if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment up below anything you guys want in the comments, including your video request. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. Alright, we will talk to you guys later. Bye!